I saw my life where I would be able to juggle having a family, um, the, being a corporate person, being an owner of a business, um, just being able to do those things. Sometimes you feel like you can be superwoman, but yet when some things happen in life and that picture and that image is taken away from you, you start to wonder, am I going to be the woman that's just home with a baby all the time? I have more to offer. My name is Trina Pratt. I'm from McLeansville, North Carolina, and I have a son named Che Garcia, and he's currently two years old. Che is wonderful. He enjoys music. He enjoys the drums. He enjoys the guitar. Um, <laughs> he enjoys running around, spending time with friends, and uh, his favorite hobby is dancing. After he turned one years old, I just said, well, Che, it's just you and I, and we're going to be around our family. With the situation and everything, we just decided to move here and just to really be around our family and uh, to go back to work. Came a little bit after Che was one years old. I realized that he really needed to be around more friends, be around daycare. And um, I really, really wanted him to see that I was a mother that was willing to work. I wanted to give it my all. I actually found out about the New Choices program from my mother. I called and I talked to Lucy um, at the Women's Resource Center and we sat down and we had a discussion and we just talked more about um, the different programs they had there and uh, she felt that the um, Life Choices was the best program for me. That program worked for me so well. Um, the first, one of the first things that I know that we discussed was taking a different path and that's how you ended up with a new life choice. Um, it's just taking a different path because sometimes in life we end up taking the same path and yet we're expecting different results. So going to the Women's Resource Center, we learned about resumes, we learned about interviewing, we learned about dressing for success. Um, we learned so much about how to get some of our ideas of being an entrepreneur out into the community and not just being able to just go into work in the corporate world or just work for others, but also how to be able to be owners ourselves. My new job at Newbridge is actually an on-call teller. One of our speakers was named Robin Hager, and she um, came in and she actually talked to all of the women about budgeting, about finance and everything. So from that, her speech and just her presence really just um, stuck with me. And into, later, I stayed in contact with Robin. I let her know about different things that I wanted to do. Um, she was very good about emails and calling me back and meeting with me. And she knew that one of my dreams was actually to be able to go forward and to be able to write grants and to write 501 C3s. So from that, um, she knew that I had had some experience in banking before. So she felt that the on-call teller position would be a great opportunity for me to work at Newbridge Bank and yet still had time to be able to build upon my business. So that's how I was able to go to Newbridge and that's how the fit, it was just a great opportunity and a great fit for me. Some people came into the program where they felt maybe their educational skills were not up to par compared to today's society where they did not have Microsoft Word, they did not have, you know, the technology and experience, but yet they still had the same image for their life and they still sometimes feel like, well, can I make it, can I make it? But through this New Choices program, a lot of them, now that we've all graduated, we all feel that this program has equipped us to be able to have that dream, to be able to manage that family, to be able to wear our skirt and a suit and be in corporate America, or be able to just be able to be owners of our own businesses and be able to really find our own destiny about what we want to do and be able to be that superwoman.